Okay, hello again. So today we'll, we'll try to answer another case from Last Defend. I owe a very good platform to sharpen your blue team or SOC skill in investigation and incident response. Okay, let's try SOP 166 this time. So again, uh, take ownership of the case. So just like in the real world, find a case to yourself. Create a case or a ticket, and we can start investigation using the guided uh, playbook. So, again, let's refresh this uh, to see the latest ticket we have assigned, which is this one. Notice the web server is involved, and the traffic is uh, internal. Oh no, it's external to internal, right? inbound and this is the requested url notice the javascript here okay very familiar uh, script javascript alert script which resembles and the cross site scripting attack okay so okay so i did give did a giveaway answer already so let's start the playbook i understand that the alert was triggered so i just mentioned a while ago okay it's an inbound traffic so somebody is trying to to do something or to with the web server collect data it's actually everything we need is already here though we could actually filter further uh, in the lag management okay so notice here or all our inbound requests okay this is okay notice Oh, there's even a uh, iteration here. Okay, let's continue. Next tip, HTTP traffic. So, indeed, we are dealing here with an XSS process scripting attack. Click next, traffic malicious. Definitely, this is malicious traffic. And the attack type is cross site scripting. Okay okay check if it's a plan test so what we can do is see any related uh, email communications for that web server and there seems to be none right so we can say for sure that this is not a plan test so this is an actual attack so not planned then internal so it's an internet to company it's an inbound traffic and whether the attack was successful we can see in the response oh notice here uh, this been redirected so zero so response size so meaning somehow it's being blocked when the response was returned to the uh, the attacker right everything seems zero okay nothing malicious in this request but in the triggered request with javascript okay it has zero response zero and triple two means redirected so here also zero so the attack was blocked right well this is quite a benign just a simple probing no script yet on the url parameter so we can say that the attack was blocked. No. And as for the artifact, definitely we could block this IP address, attacker IP address. Okay, with this IP address. Okay, just put here attacker IP. Next. Definitely, uh, we still need tier two, even though it was blocked. Okay. Do not succeed. Oh, actually, uh, it's quite tricky for this platform. So I'll just give you a comparison to real life. So definitely, this is block. The attack per se is block. It's block and was the attacker was redirected and no no response was returned to the attacker. So the JavaScript uh, injected was not really executed at all. But in real life, uh, this needs to be escalated to tier 2 
uh, because of the excess vulnerability on the website so uh, it it needs to be corrected so the filtering for for javascript needs to be sanitized so that these kinds of malicious input will not be allowed to execute okay so so yeah uh, sorry let me clear clarify that so this is the attack was blocked at all so meaning there's already a mechanism in place so sorry for that stand corrected there's already a mechanism in the website that blocks the javascript execution so for this specific case there is really no need to escalate anymore okay hope that's clear so no so yeah attacker attempting attempting yes but was not successful and redirected okay so this is true positive finish okay now we can now close the case the alert true positive but block okay so we can now close the alert oh yay all our answers are correct so now we got a badge we can now view review the answers we made uh javascript there so we got all correct okay